Folks, real quick, the video you're about to see is something that the subscribers to our newsletters gets to see in advance, but now I'm showing it to you. So let's check out this very unique jewelry box. So this is a brief overview of my Asian inspired jewelry box. Now this box is a little bit different from most because the lid does not lift up. If I turn it around, you'll notice that I have some hinges on it. And that's because the way this box works, well, it splits down the middle to reveal the different drawers inside. Now you open the drawers from the access holes that we have put here on the side. You simply push your finger through that to push the drawer out. Uh, the box is held together by these rare earth magnets at all four corners. That's what helps lock it together. Now when building this, it gets a little confusing because what is the front right now, the minute you open it, now becomes the sides. So I broke it down into a couple of categories. The first one is what I call the inner structure, which is this poplar section. Uh, then you would make the drawers. And the drawers are consisting of some quarter inch poplar for the back side's bottom and quarter inch walnut for the front. And they're held together just by some uh, small little rabbit joints and glue. So make the inner structure fit the drawers, get a nice fit, and then you can make the outer structure, which is essentially this walnut that goes around it. And of course, then you have the actual top and the bottom piece to it. Now, a couple things to keep in mind when you're making this, especially if you're going to cut this out first. This is a three and a half inch hole. If you're going to cut this out with a hole saw, um, make sure you account for the fact that this is going to get cut, that kerf blade, the saw blade. So make sure that your piece first is larger than the dimensions on the plans. Uh, the same goes for the top. When you make your top, make sure you account for the thickness of the saw blade uh, and then make the cut. The Feet on it, well, the feet are real simple. It gives the illusion that it has uh, some feet on the front, back, and sides. Essentially, what I did was I took a cove router bit and just routed along that edge, uh, which gives it the false illusion of having some feet. And then the last thing is just a little decorative. You can notice there's this little scratch stock line that goes around it. Um, I did that with a marking gauge. You'll notice that it's slightly here on the top as well. Uh, it's just a little decorative thing for the stain to fall into, uh, but you can do that with a marking gauge or even a knife. All right, so there it is. That is how my Asian-inspired jewelry box works. I hope you enjoy it. I think it'll make a great gift for yourself or someone you love. If you would like to get plans for that jewelry box, well, you can click on the link in the description box below or simply just go to woodshoppingtime.com. At the website, you'll find things besides plans such as blogs that will help inspire and keep you motivated as well as past videos. And speaking of videos, I have two, possibly three more videos still to come out by the end of this month. So before December is over, you'll have more to see. So if you haven't already done so, please click on the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Now, if you're on Facebook, well, I would ask you to come over and join our group page called What Are You Doing? This is a place where you get to show off the projects that you're building in your shop, as well as talk with other fellow woodworkers such as yourself. And of course, if you are running into problems on a project in your shop, you need some help, feel free to write me at woodshoppingtime at gmail.com. Because after all, my whole goal is to make you a better woodworker. Until next time, thanks so much for watching and keep on dancing.